think? Did you like it? Again, for all the pros out there, I know that was a very simple video. But uh, since there are a lot of people that doesn't know everything, I wanted to keep this video as simple as possible. By the way, guys, make sure to watch the sponsor part because I've just launched a very, very cool product. And before going on with this tutorial, make sure to watch before of this the shooting part that you can find the link here. If you did it, let's go on with the edit breakdown and in the end I'll show you how to upload the reel on Instagram. Last thing, I'm going to show you all the process in Premiere Pro but since the level of the edit is very simple you can definitely do also in a smartphone app and in that case my suggestion is LumaFusion. I know that is a little bit expensive but if you are doing this for living or if you try to do of course this for living I think that is a great investment. Okay, the first step is set the correct setting of your project but in general my suggestion after my research is setting the project at 640 multiply 1136 at 29.97 frame per second but if you're using Premiere Pro you can find a free preset in my digital store link down below okay now very first step sifting footage what does it mean? Simply erase all the bad parts in your footage and for example you can simply cut the first and the last part of the videos. And once you have finished this process, order this footage in the order that you want in the final edit. Ok, now it's time to search the right song, but before doing that you have to decide the length of the reels. And in this case, since the subject is very simple, I don't recommend to you to go over 30 seconds. And this is important because when you are setting the reel, one of the first things that you have to set is the duration. And this is related also to the duration of the song. In fact, now you have to search the right song and since we are talking about a Christmas reel, of course, I'll suggest you that uh, the searching of the song is related to Christmas. Once you have chosen the song, you only have to select the part of the song that you want to use in the edit. And to do it that, simply drag on the left and drag on the right the part of the music that you want in the final edit. Once everything is set, you have to record the screen of your phone and in the case of an iPhone do not enable the microphone. So in this way the phone will record only the internal sound and not the externals. And this is crucial because you want the clean track on your videos. Once you did that, import the track in your editing project and extract, so divide based basically the audio from the video. So in the choice of your app editing make sure that your app has this possibility because I know that a lot of app doesn't allow you to do this operation. In the last weeks I've been working hard to get out one of my favorite presets for Lightroom, the iPhone version. And since we are talking about creating content with our phone, if you are using an iPhone to take your photos, my iPhone preset from the natural collection will be perfect for you. In fact, using Adobe Lightroom that is completely free for smartphone, you can use one of my 13 presets specifically designed for Apple Pro Shots, but of course they work also on JPEG images. Inside the download folder you will find 7 colored and 7 black and white versions of the presets. And the reason why they really work is because they were designed to work with specifically type of light. In fact, they are remade with the corresponding type of light in mind. For example, the blue hour preset is perfect for shots after the sunset, while the high sunny preset is perfect for bright sunny days. But you will learn how to properly use and how to install the preset inside my guide that is very very huge because it's composed by more than 35 pages where you will find how to install the preset on all the Lightroom flavors and also how to properly use them. Last thing guys, in addition to this version you will find also another flavors specifically made for classic camera like mirrorless, drones, action cameras, but even 360 cameras. And remember that all of this is 50% off till the end of January 2023. Link of everything down below. At this point you have to do a fun process. Play all the music and then set markers or cuts 
on all the bits that you can recognize and you will find this operation quite helpful later on. In fact, the next thing that you have to do is align the length of each clip to the bits of the song that you had just created. Also another tip that I can give you in this part is play with the speed of the clips because, for example, if you had shooted the clips at 60 frames per second, you can slow down the clips to 50%. So basically, if you have one, one second of clips, you can have two seconds of clip from the same video. Okay, now you are almost in the end, but this is a process that it's quite optional, but I this process I can recommend. The next one, not so much, but this... Uh, yeah, you can do it. This is the process of color correction. That basically means that watching back all the clips, you basically have to look for the exposure and for the white balance. Because if you see that the clip is a little less bright than another one, you have simply to go to the brightness or, the, or to the exposure slider and bring it up. Or for example, if a clip is a little bit warmer or cooler than another one, you have to go to the white balance or similar things and change the value between the warm and the cool tones. So doing that you will achieve a constant look basically throughout all the images. Last things, if you need add contrast to your images because sometimes can happen that some images is a little bit contrast and some other is not. So basically the contrast is another tool to reach the same goal. The last thing before exporting is to use a LUT. In this case you can find several LUTs online and then working on that <laughs> Basically, you have to try multiple LUTs and see for yourself if it fits or not the images. Make sure that you are also playing with the slider because a lot of times when you are applying a filter, the amount of contrast, saturation, etc, etc is a little bit too much, so you have to turn a little bit down the slider. Because in the end, don't forget to reach a natural look. So, at this point, the only things that remain to do is export the video. And the only tips that I can give you in this part is make sure that the settings of the export is the same as the project but since this is a tutorial the correct settings are 640 multiply by 1136 and for the frame rates is 29.97 frame per second and now it's finally time to upload this reel and since you had created the reel outside the instagram platform you have to add the reel as an external image from your phone once you did that click add in the top right corner now let's go straight to search the same music as before and the cool part of Instagram is that when you are reaching the search bar you will see that under recent searches you will find the same music that you have just downloaded. So click the name of the song and this time ignore the process of choosing the right position of the song. Here leave everything as standard and click on the next button on the bottom right corner. Here, and this is quite important, you have to click again on the music icon and you have to enter in the control panel that is located in the top left corner. Here you have to set the camera audio to 100 while the audio from the song to 0, so the opposite basically. Confirm pressing down on the button and with a swipe from the top to the bottom you should see the edit that you have just did. If not, I'm sorry, but you did something wrong for sure in the export part. Meanwhile, if everything is great, click on next on the bottom right corner. And here you know, you have to add a description, a title, hashtag, etc, etc. But the last tip that I want to give you is located in the edit cover tab. And aside to choose the right frame or photos, go to the profile grid tab in the top right corner and here you can play up or down with the preview of your thumbnail in your grid. I think that this is super helpful. That's it for the editing part. Make sure to watch the shooting part if you hadn't done it. And thank you so much again to Marco e Sara for letting me do this content. Drop a like if this was helpful and don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see behind this content. Happy Christmas to everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!